happy Friday! All right, as I get my set together and allow you all to slowly trinkle on in here, Yes, I must be getting more and more in shape because I don't get as out of breath as I used to when I started doing these Friday movement thingies for you. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you are on in the morning. I didn't think you, you were able to do that. I'm not saying that to be ungrateful. I'm actually very happy to see you. So thank you for tuning in. All right, to my first time viewers, welcome. My name is Joseph Long, and I thank you for choosing this platform. To all my return returning viewers, hello friends, and thank you for your support. Nothing that happens, no matter how bad, can e erase who you are. Let me repeat that. Nothing that happens, no matter how bad, can erase who you are. You are always you, no matter what happens. Experiences can change you, but deep inside, there is always that shining seed of self, the blueprint of who you truly are, guaranteeing the possibility of renewal. Think about that throughout today's practice. Before I move on, I, I want to bring your awareness. I want to bring you back to the opening number. That opening song is by a dear friend of mine, Miss. She goes by the, the um, I want to say for lack of better word, stage name Echo. E-C-H-O, but her real name is Jordana Forrest. You can find her in my friends list here on Facebook. You can find her. I believe she's under Echo, but if you type in Jordana Forrest, I believe Echo will come up on my Instagram platform as well. I've known her, I want to say 10, 11 years. We have acted on stage together. I have stage managed her as well. So she's a triple threat, unlike myself, who consider myself a decent actor and a good singer. She is an actor, singer, and dancer, a triple threat. She wrote that song. I believe the title of the song is It's a Sign. I don't want to, well, I can go back and check that without changing. It's a Sign featuring Flocking. Um, she's on, I believe I, I obtained that number through um, iTunes, but she's on YouTube as well. Check her out. She thought, she felt that there, need, there was a need of more inspirational, positive music. So she wrote her own positive and inspirational music. I believe she has a total right now of four songs. She's been featuring it. Um, she had her debut. I want to say it was Monday, if not Tuesday, where she started pub making it public of this music. So check her out. Support her. I'm for supporting anything that's positive and empowering. And her music is just that. So... With that, without going, without further ado, let us become centered. Find a quiet place and settle in. Perhaps on a cushion on the floor or a straight back chair. I invite you to gently close your eyes.
Imagine that you are in a very dark space. Perhaps you can feel how you are supported by the floor or the chair and notice the places of contact with your body. Now take a moment to notice that you are breathing. Feel your breath as it enters your body and leaves your body with no need to change or alter anything. Just noticing. Pause here for a few moments to connect with your own unique rhythm. Just noticing your breath. Perhaps you will notice areas of tension in your body, areas where you might be gripping or holding. See if you can soften and release. Again, not forcing or needing to change anything, just softening and accepting things exactly as they are. Notice with compassion any feelings or emotions that may be present in your body. I invite you to imagine that you are now lighting a candle. This candle is very familiar to you. Imagine its color, its smell. How big is the wick? Now, I invite you to notice the flame. Notice its shape its power. How is the flame moving? Is it dancing? Is it flickering? If you haven't already, I invite you to imagine that the space around you is indeed very dark. The candle is the only light you can see. The candle is alive inside of you. Feel where it glows. Feel its warmth. As you gaze upon the light, where can you feel it in your body right now? A light from outside begins to blend with the dark now. The sun slowly infuses the room with its warmth and glow through a window. Your candle and its fire are hard to see now with the bright light that is all around you. But you know that it's still there. There is, this is how our inner light works. It's always there. That light always burns brightly inside each of us. 
Our lives are like weather systems though. Our lives are sensitive to the sun and the moon, the winds and the waters. We don't want our inner light to blow out in the wind or be doused by the rains. Our work as spiritual beings are to keep this light burning inside of us. How do we do this? We come back to ourselves again and again and again, feeling what is present in our bodies and trusting our inner light. There is an, an enormous light in this universe, a bigger fire than ours, which we are all a spark of. We have all lit our candles from that light. We are all born of the same light yours and mine. When we gather together, we burn brightly. I invite you now to open your eyes and gently come back into the room. You may want to take a moment to reflect on your experience or even write a few of your thoughts down. You may also want to light a candle to spend a few moments gazing into its light. Namaste. I'm showing a few people on Facebook, but again, I can't, and, and people steady still coming in. Uh, again, I apologize. I, for some reason, I am unable to see who you are, but know that I am grateful for you. Know that I do feel your energy, that some of you are sending your love and light, and I appreciate that. I need that. Now for today's inspirational message. Our message comes from the daily publication of the Daily Word. And today's message is titled, I walk in peace and faith as I trust my inner light to guide me. When you keep your thoughts center on God, deep peace encircles your heart and blissful clarity permeates your mind. I see you, Miss Marverine, grand rising to you. As you live your life from this place, you trust in your ability to discern your inner guidance because it incre becomes increasingly strong. Repeating that. Your trust in your ability to, to discern your inner guidance becomes increasingly strong. You are no longer swayed off course by the unpredictability of an ever-changing world because you have placed your trust in the constant and enduring reality of God that is in, uh, alive in you. You trust your intuition and inner knowing to lead you to places, people, and situations that will help you grow, realize your potential, or be of service. You trust your good in intentions and actions to create the positive energy necessary to bring forth fulfilling outcomes. So the question is, my brothers and sisters, who and what do you think you truly are? Do you think you are solely that which you see in the mirror? Flesh and blood, your nose, your skin color, your sexual orientation? Or do you know you are more than that? Do you truly know you are a spiritual being? Do you truly know that you are connected to every being on this planet? And most importantly, do you know that you have an inner light, a spark within you that connects you to power, to intelligence, 
to presence itself. And so in this moment and throughout the day, our intention is to do whatever we can to constantly bring us to the moment, to remain in awareness of that light within us. That light that will always guide us through any situation. That light that will always have the answers to every question that we have. That same light that if we trust in it, we know that it will bring us individuals, bring situations into our lives to obtain our highest good, our dreams, our deepest desires. So on this fantastic Friday we walk, we work, we talk, we have our very being in peace as we trust our inner light to guide us. And so it is. I see you, my queen, Miss Thelma, grand rising to you. If you like today's message and meditation, click on the like button, comment, and share. Don't forget to go into my YouTube channel, Inspirational Moments with Joseph Long, and hit that like button on a video there. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, to please do so. We will not have a guided meditation tonight. However, we will reconnect tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for joining me in today's experience. I love you and I appreciate you. Peace and blessings.